pre-shipment inspection. The pre-shipment inspection video provides you with information about PSI services, which are provided by third-party inspection agencies. Pre-shipment inspection has two major applications as below. First application. The first application is used by buyers and sellers and when the commodities funds are transferred through letter of credit, in which buyers and sellers banks are involved. Then the commodities will be inspected before shipment by the independent third-party inspection companies to verify quality, quantity, packing, marking, and loading. Several documents must be delivered to the seller's bank for receiving the purchase value, such as the bill of lading, certificate of origin, packing list, and inspection certificate. So the inspection certificate is a document that must be issued by third-party inspection company and delivered to the seller. The seller will refer to its bank to receive the funds by delivering the inspection certificate and other related documents. The placing of mandatory inspection requirements in the LC depend on the buyer's and seller's decision and might be ignored by mutual agreement. The second application is used by the government to safeguard national financial interest, such as the prevention of capital flight through over-invoicing and customs duty evasion. The core service in the second application is goods price verification. The PSI companies have their own updated databases for goods prices and the prices which are declared by importers will be compared with the values in their database and will be reported to the government authorities, e.g. custom authorities or banks. In this case, the government's main aim is to prevent slippage of customs revenue as a result of undervaluation or deliberate misclassification by traders of goods to be imported under low duty headings. Review the following example to completely comprehend the pre-shipment inspection applications. An oil company wants to order for design, manufacturing, procurement, and installation of a gas turbine in its facility. The oil company makes a contract with the engineering company for design, supplying, and installation of a gas turbine. The oil company opens a letter of credit with its bank for the engineering company. Subsequently, the engineering company makes a contract with the gas turbine manufacturer and requests from the bank for the transfer LC. So in this LC, the applicant and co-signee will be the oil company, the first beneficiary will be the engineering company, and the second beneficiary will be the gas turbine manufacturer. The clause number 46.A in all LCs designated for the listing of necessary documents for any fund transfer between buyers and sellers. So for the above purchase, one item in clause 46.A will be the original inspection certificate issued not prior to the bill of lading, date by MS, name of third party inspection company, or its authorized agents on MS, name of third party inspection company agents, letterhead certifying that the quality, quantity, and the packing of the goods loaded and delivered are strictly complying with specifications of the goods indicated in the related pro forma invoice. The terms of LC and any amendments made thereto as presented to MS, name of third party inspection company by the buyer. Please note in clause 46.A that there are lots of documents which must be delivered to the bank for payment and the inspection certificate is one of them. So the above wording in bold must be exactly stated in the inspection certificate. Even if there's a syntax error, it should be stated in some form. Any change from the above wording will not be accepted by the bank and the funds will not be paid. For example, if the equipment manufacturer did not notify the inspection company for the loading inspection and the commodity loaded without the witness of the inspection company, then what will happen? The inspection company will issue an inspection certificate, but we will remove the word loading from the above statement. The consequences are that when the seller takes the certificate to the bank for receiving the payment, the bank will announce a discrepancy and will not pay to the seller. The scope of inspection must be agreed upon between the oil company, engineering company, and gas turbine manufacturer. The scope is normally summarized in the inspection and test plan document. For more details, watch the inspection and test plan video in this channel or visit this web page. The inspection test plan details the quality part of the inspection scope. The inspection company will make an inspection in each stage of manufacturing and will issue an inspection visit report. The engineering company must issue and submit the packing and marking procedure to the manufacturer or ask for a draft of the packing and marking procedure from manufacturer for approval. In both cases, the inspection company must take an inspection based on the approved packing and marking procedures. When the inspection company inspected the quality of the gas turbine, controlled the quantity, and made an inspection on the packing and marking, then they will issue the inspection release note for shipment. 
Then the gas turbine manufacturer can organize with the shipping company for shipment of the gas turbine. The inspection company must be notified for loading inspection. The inspection company will witness the loading and will issue an inspection visit report for the following. Then the inspection company will issue the inspection certificate when they have received following documents from the gas turbine manufacturer. The bill of lading, certificate of origin, the packing list. The inspection company already received the letter of credit, performant invoice and purchase order, so based on all of the collected documents, it will issue the pre-shipment inspection certificate and will deliver to the gas turbine manufacturer. Then, the gas turbine manufacturer with the inspection certificate and other required documents will refer to its bank and receive the payment. As stated in the opening of this video, sometimes the government might use some services from pre-shipment inspection companies. The second application. In the above gas turbine example, it might be necessary that the gas turbine manufacturer perform an invoice to be approved by the pre-shipment inspection company before issuing the purchase order by the engineering company and make sure the price is not more than the value which is on the market. Some government authorities try to avoid capital flight through this mechanism, so safeguard national financial interests. Pre-shipment inspection companies also are used to avoid customs duty evasion. In the above example, the engineering company or gas turbine manufacturer's local agent in the destination country is the importer and must submit a customs declaration document to clear the gas turbine from customs. So a pre-shipment inspection company might be hired to make a price verification and determine the gas turbine custom duty. Inspection for Industry LLC provides third-party inspection services like vendor inspection, pre-shipment inspection, and commodity inspection. These services are provided to the buyers, sellers, engineering companies, inspection agencies, plant owners, traders, and any other third-party inspection user companies. These services are not limited to one geographical location and cover the entire world. We have a lot of associate partners around the globe so we can coordinate and execute your third-party inspection orders at a competitive price. Your inspection orders will be done in vendor seller countries by our competent inspection engineers and will be precisely coordinated, expedited, and managed. Thanks for your kind attention. For more information, visit us on www.inspectionforindustry.com.